Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Nerdy Quail. Today we're doing another unboxing and we're going to be unboxing Nemesis by Awakened Realms. My buddy Shooter Spitz did the Kickstarter for this and brought the box over for me to unbox it. So we start off with this nice big box right here. Uh, the packaging looks pretty neat, um, very thematic, so to speak. Uh, it's got Nemesis written on it, Awakened Realms, even the tape and everything has got the Awakened Realms logo on it. So, without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to start taking things out of the box. So, we already undid the tape, and very nicely, they have a nice foam packaging, we'll take that there. And on the top it looks like we have a couple of expansion packs. First one here, let me get this out, is a Carnomorph expansion. It looks like it's a nice big dude. And we'll get nice close-ups of everything in a little bit. Um, looks like you need, uh, it's a large alien, and this looks like it'll be fun to deal with. Um, I don't know too much about the game myself, but from stuff I've seen, it looks like it's a similar to Dark Souls, but in a fantasy or a sci-fi setting. Next, it looks like we have a little bit of a meme. We have a Space Cats expansion, and here it looks like we have a character expansion of some sort. And this is a medic and has a nice pink character ring, and the cards. A associated with it. So we're going to stick that there, and we're going to move all the foam out of the way. Alright, here's when we're going to get to the actual meat of everything. First, things first, we have the actual core game box right here. And this is one hefty box. It's nice and big, it's about the size of the Dark Souls box. Um, artwork looks great on it, um, and we're going to be opening this up soon. Next we have one, the, another expansion, it's called the Aftermath Expansion. Then we have the Void Cedars Expansion, looks like it's another kind of like alien enemy expansion as well. And then we have a bunch of other stuff here. We have a play mat, or a, I think it looks like a play mat, we'll check. Or a um, dice rolling box. We'll see what it is in a moment. Uh, we got some short stories. We got more short stories. We got tokens, more tokens, and I think that's it for the box. All right, we're going to start off with the core game set right here, and I got a knife, and we're going to just start cutting the plastic. All right, get rid of the plastic there. Alright, so first things first is that we have a nice game manual here. Looks like we have some uh, lists for basic rooms and additional rooms. So stuff like an armory, comms room, emergency room, just all the rules that are affiliated with that. Looking at the rule book, looks like um, a lot of nice little explanations and illustrations for examples. Um, it looks like it's only one rule book, which is nice. I'm not a fan of the double rule book. Alright, next is we have all the cardboard rooms. So we've got a bunch there. We have an intruder board on this one. Uh, more rooms. Uh, characters more characters such as the pilot and a scientist. I'm getting kind of a thing vibe as well combined with Space Hulk. A couple more 
And then we're getting into a few more things here. So I don't know too much about the game, but it looks like you've got a nice cardboard box that you can make. And here is the game board. Alright, the game board is double sided. I don't know if we can get that all on the camera. But it's double sided and it looks really nice and it looks really thematic on both sides. And we'll just fold that back up really quick. And now this is where we get into what the attraction of this game is. I saw the Kickstarter on Facebook a couple of times. I was just never really got around to it. These are what we're looking forward to. And we've got the really nice miniatures. All right, next we're gonna get to the meat and potatoes of this game. And that is the very nice and intricate models. They're super detailed. Here's one of the aliens. The detailing is fantastic. In addition to that, there are also several, I guess, player characters, such as this guy, who's in nice power armor. We have a character that's in a wheelchair. I'm guessing probably either the scientist or engineer of some sort. We got another character here. Kind of looks like a little bit like one of the Doom characters. And next we have a fourth character here. And just dozens and dozens of alien characters. Very well done and very intricate. Next we have some sort of uh, yellow pieces here. I'm not sure what these are used for. But they look quite neat. We have these, which I'm guessing are used for measuring. And there are several of them. Uh, they actually might be card holders coming to look at it. Uh, we also have some tiny miniatures, which I guess are the little larvae of the aliens. We have red markers as well for flames. We have specialized dice for the alien, so I guess for combat and for looks like a D8 as well. We have gear tokens. Uh, we don't need that. And we have a nice bag to keep everything in. Next, we have this thing, and I love the design of this. So this is supposed to be for scanning and the contamination cards. And it has the infection procedures on the reverse, but I just love the, the holo effect on the front here. In addition to that, we have a glass beads. Um, these hold up cards for probably certain things. We have red cubes, possibly for damage. And we have color coding and character for classes on the characters. And next we have like the next tier of enemies. So we have this fancy looking boy. Put him down here. And there's several of those, so we got a couple of them. And we have just like a probably the same guy, but different pose. And then we have the next tier of guy, and he's even bigger. It's almost a, as tall as almost how tall my hand is. He'll, he'll go there. There's another one of him, and then we have what looks like to be the queen. And this thing is hefty. The detail on it is fantastic. And there's tons of little younglings, and looks very biomechanical, a la H.R. Geiger artwork. 
And lastly, what's in the core box is that we have all the different decks of cards. So we have the action deck, we have an intruder attack deck, we have what I believe is like a corporate and corporation deck, we have an item deck of cards, and we have a set of cards for that are called coordinates. And I think there might be another deck and more item cards in there as well. And that's everything for the core box. We'll start checking out what's in all the expansions. All right, next we're gonna take a look at some of the smaller things that were packaged with it. First being is that there's a little tiny deck of cards that was in the bottom of the box. Uh, not just the main core box, but in the bottom of the main package. And all this is is that it's a couple of extra events and a couple of extra room cards. So we'll move that over here. And next is the uh, dice rolling thing. It's neoprene, it's got snaps. They're a little hard to take apart, but it looks cool, but it feels a little fragile. But the artwork is amazing on it. Move that to the side. Next is one of the expansion pieces, and this is the Medic. It comes with her own uh, character board on the bottom here, her own cards and actions, and of course her own piece and the color ring for her to mark the player. Next, we have the meme. Here are the Space Cats. So we'll just open this up really quick. Here are the cards. And here are the miniatures. Let's take them out of the box. And here they are. Fantastically modeled. And they're just cats. And that's a cat in an astronaut outfit. Here's a cat in a design as one of the aliens. I'm particularly fond of this one. He's got more of the alien... Uh, modifications on it, and it looks like it's got a half alien skull on it as well. And here's the last one, and it's a kitty hanging upside down with an alien tail. Alright, and here are the cards. We're just going to open this up really quick, because I'm just curious to see if they have any stats. And they don't have any stats or anything, it's just paintings of each of the individual um, miniatures. All right, next we have these little booklets, the Untold Stories 1 and Untold Stories 2. Now what's neat about these is that I flipped through them really quickly. And what's neat about them is that not only do they have some general rules about a few things, they're graphic novels, and they have comic sections, and they correlate to different missions, and there are specific rules and scenarios for that. And I thought that's really cool. The artwork for these is very well done, and I'm a huge graphic novel fan. Um, and these would be fun to read and to play out each of the scenarios. And it's the same with the second one. Um, the pages feel really nice. Um and everything, and the presentation just looks really neat. Next we're going to look at the actual boxes expansions. So the first uh, Nemesis expansion is called the Carnomorph expansion. So this is just your basic replace the enemy or replace the Nemesis type of expansion. So we have the the game manual here, which probably goes through uh, the various setups and the different rules for this specific enemy. Okay, the artwork there is pretty neat. It kind of reminds me of a little bit of kind of like zombies and Resident Evil-esque designs. Okay, we have, looks like this piece here got popped out. Um, we got the board for it, and it looks like we got some warnings and some cardboard pieces. Next, we have a lot of the miniatures. 
So we're just going to take out a couple of them and take a look. So here we have kind of like a spider-esque one. And we'll put him back. Here we have... If I can get him out, there we go. Here we have a little bit bigger one. It still looks vaguely humanoid. But as I said, kind of like Resident Evil Silent Hill-esque art style. Maybe a little bit of Dead Space as well. Alright, and here's another one. I think it's the same style. Okay. And, yeah. Then we'll take a look at one of these big boys here. And this is the guy that's on the cover. He's got two heads, flayed rib, reverse rib cage. And of course, a xenomorph style tail. Yeah, I'm definitely getting some Dead Space vibes off of these. Here's another one. And this guy's just nasty looking. Very detailed. Very, very detailed. And I think there's another one of those. And I think there's a third as well. And next, we have a bunch of cards. So here's some uh, adaptations that they can develop and evolve. And here just looks like um, they're generic cards and actions that they can do. Next, we have an, another expansion dealing with having more enemies. And these are called Void Seeders. Now, I was looking at the artwork and I'm getting a very much a Eldritch Horror, HP Lovecraft Cthulhu vibe from them. So, of course, you have the manual here which goes over the specific rules for the Void Seeders and all its, you know, all the components that are in the expansion. As usual, the artwork is very much on point. Here we have their, their card, their warnings, and all the other specific tokens just specifically for this, these set of enemies. Um, not sure what happened here. Maybe there was a misprint or there was a mistake on here somewhere and they had to reprint them. But we do have all the pieces that are needed. Looks like there's a... Eggs are heavily involved with these. Because there's something that says eggs in the nest. And that will be very interesting to see how these guys play out. We'll open these up. And I like the organization of this box better than the Carnomorphs one. It's much more laid out. Um, so to start with, we have their cards here. So here's an insanity track for the players, and that definitely fits with the Eldritch Horror Mind Flayer theme. And here we have their actions and all the other cards that are specific for that, and I think this is just a block, yeah. Now we're going to take a look at the models of these big bad boys. Alright, first things first, we have this. And it looks like it's an egg, and... If I can, sorry. Alright. And, yeah, that's very well detailed. Kind of like a xenomorph egg a little bit. But not too much. So that's what the eggs look like. Then we have the next tier. And here we go. And this is what they look like. Very much Mind Flayer, Cthulhu-esque. And also a little bit of the aliens from Independence Day. At least what they're... Uh, exoskeletons look like. Put that back in there. So there's just a bunch of those and then there's a bigger set right here. He's got a lot more tentacles and he's got his uh, bone scythes on him still. Uh, same basic design and everything but just a bit bigger. Then we have this gentleman down here. And looks like I like the design and how they have uh, the railings of the ship, the frame posts, and it's breaking as this thing is coming through. There's just tentacles everywhere. And he just looks like a nasty piece of work. And lastly, we have this thing. There's no base for it, which I find odd, but that would be a very huge base. Um, the one thing I will have to say about this is that it feels fragile, a little flimsy. Um, just picking it up, I can feel these bend a little bit. But otherwise, 
the detail on this is fantastic. Um, there's a texture on the tentacles um, and everything. This looks quite amazing. We'll stick that back in there and we'll go on to the next one. And here's the last expansion in this box. Now one thing before we continue is that this is just wave one of this game. There's going to be two waves of this, so there's going to be a whole other round of expansion packs. And we'll do a, an unboxing of those when they come around as well. But here it is, this is the Aftermath expansion. Unlike the other two expansions we just looked at, these aren't adding more enemies. This is adding more player options. So we'll just take this off here. We'll set that to the side. And once again, you have the manual on the top. And I'll explain what's in here. And then the different game modes, what the components are specifically for this expansion, and all of that. And then it adds something that they call an epilogue mode. All right, we'll set that there. There's several new characters types added. So we have a convict. For example, CEO, Android, and that goes with the ones already in the game, such as the pilot, the scientist, the engineer. Uh, there's a bounty hunter, and then there's a psychologist. There's a new game board map, but this is only one-sided, and it's small. And I guess this is for the aftermath when they're on either a escape pod or small ship is trying to escape of some sort. And here is the box. Um, looking at it, it's actually quite empty, but I guess that is so that you punch out the cardboard pieces we just looked at and are able to store them easily. So first things first, we have all the tiny cards here. There's more items. There's things describing, uh, I guess there are robots that you can use and all that. There are more action cards here and there's another thing on the bottom here and it looks like it might be more corporation cards and lucrative offer cards there might be a few more in there as well but we'll see later uh, this is interesting it comes with an hourglass the time, I guess, um, certain characters' actions. Next, we have all the different character types. I guess this is the psychologist, because I just completely drop it. Uh, I'm not sure what this one is, but we have all of them. Here's the bounty hunter. We have the convicts here, and all of that. And I believe the last one is the by maybe or Android one of the two and here we have let me just put this back here these are pretty stuck in there so let me take a moment to safely take one out all right we we got nice looking turrets and those will be nice to use and have and hopefully you know they don't turn on you and what everyone, of course, always needs, everyone needs a doggo. Looks like we have a nice little German Shepherd or Belgian Malinois. And that would be nice to have. And this is a good healthy dose of I have no clue. Ah, it's another space kitty. I could not tell whatsoever what, what is sitting in there. And that is the Aftermath expansion. Alright, and that's it for the unboxing of Wave 1 of Nemesis. As you can see, there's a lot of boxes and expansions and other fun things with it, including the Core Box, the Carnomorph expansion, the Void Cedar, the Aftermath expansion, the two additional scenario books that are both graphic novels, the Space cats, which have no clue what actually they do, but they look awesome. And the really neat neoprene dice rolling area. 
this has been the Nerdy Quail. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Stick around for the second episode of the unboxing when the second wave comes from Kickstarter. Take care, everyone. Be sure to like and subscribe, and have a good one.